I finally got my hands on the new Mac Studio here. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing video and then I'll show you exactly how to set it up. So pretty much out of the box, you get the Mac Studio. There's two versions. I'll show you in a second which one I got here. And you get a power supply. That's it. There's no keyboard. There's no mouse. There is no monitor with the Mac Studio. So you still need those three things before you could set this up. Let me go ahead and unwrap this right here. So this is the top of it here. Let me show you the bottom of it. And the front we have, now in the front you get an SD card reader, you get two USB-C slots, and on the higher end version of this, which I'll show you in a second, you get two Thunderbolt 4 slots. And here's the back, so you have a headphone jack, you have a HDMI port, two regular USB 3 ports, we got the power right here, which we got the cable for, you got Ethernet, and you also have four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. So both versions of the Mac Studio look exactly like this, but the difference is the chip that comes inside of them. So I have the M1 Max chip. So this one is the one that starts around $2,000. I made a few upgrades to mine but you get a 10 core CPU, where if you get the M1 Ultra chip, which is just a much better processor, basically the brain of this Mac is gonna be double the power of this Mac at 20 core. Same thing with the graphics card, you go from 24 to 48, and same thing with the 16 core neural engine, you go double on this one. So. The price is double, but so is everything else that you see over here. But for what I'm doing, I just saw the M1 Max has plenty of power and speed. So the M1 Ultra, I think is more relevant if you're dealing with 8K footage or really high-end animation. And I upgraded my memory here to 64. On the other version, again, everything is double, including memory. For storage, I also upgraded to the one terabyte version, but you could go all the way up to eight terabytes. And the Mac website here under Mac Studio gives you a full breakdown on all the different ports that I just showed you previously. Now let me quickly show you the setup. I have my mouse, keyboard, and a monitor ready. I didn't get the Apple monitor. I thought it was way too expensive, but I have a nice 34 inch monitor I'm gonna plug this into. I'm gonna use the HDMI port here to plug this into my HDMI monitor here. There we go, so power, HDMI, and I'm gonna press and hold to turn it on. And I'm gonna show you the screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my mouse, and I'll turn on my keyboard. Okay, recognize my mouse. Let me go through the setup process, English. My keyboard is connected. I'm gonna choose my country down here. I don't need to set any of this up, but you can. I'm gonna say not now. Then find your Wi-Fi from this list and type in your password. Continue here. And I'm gonna start this as a brand new Mac, but you can transfer from another Mac or Time Machine or from a Windows PC. I'm gonna press not now for now to start as a brand new Mac. Sign into your Apple ID now or set it up later. And I'm gonna agree. And here you wanna create an account for your computer. So when you log in, it's going to ask for a password. And you could turn on location services here on the next page. I'm gonna leave it off, don't use. Select your time zone here. Press continue under analytics and continue here. 
And you could get light mode, dark mode, or leave it on auto. I usually leave it on light mode. I'll press continue. And that was the full setup. Now, if I go under the system preferences app here, I could go ahead and sign into my Apple ID, which is what I recommend you do. And if you wanna make sure you have the latest update, click the Apple icon up here, go to about this Mac, and this is gonna tell you what kind of Mac you have. It's gonna tell you the memory you have. But here, you could go under software update, and it's gonna tell you if there's an update available. And typically on new Macs, you will have an update, so you could go ahead and update now, and then you'll get this box to agree. And it's gonna download and install and probably restart your Mac. And your new Mac is now ready. And I'm gonna make more videos covering all kinds of different things you could do with your new Mac. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.